Ahoy hoy and welcome to SCP Memes, where I go over memes that I have picked up from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Let's jump into the memes right now. Oh boy, all three are going to lie to you. Never ask a woman her age. Never ask a man his salary. Every time this meme comes up, I think about how uh, companies have conditioned us not to ask each other how much we make so that we can't, you know, make them compete for how much they pay us. <laughs> anyway, um, the foundation where they keep getting D classes from is that the U.S. only has 2,600 inmates on death row. Yes, this is true. The number of death mate, uh, or death mate, death row inmates across the death mate. That sounds like some sort of a really edgy rock band. Death mate. Anyway, <laughs> so it sounds uh, like the SCP Foundation doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> if they pretend like they're just throwing D class at a problem, or they're just lying. I did a whole video on this that you're wrong about D class video. I think that was the. First, you're wrong about I did ever. I think it was. It's also one of the more well researched ones I've ever done. Church of the Broken God, IDK. I didn't read the article. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of Broken God articles. Even I've written a Broken God article or two. But honest to God, it's not a particularly complex or, to me, particularly interesting GOI. Sorry to say, but it's the truth. I think. A lot of people get in, like, mm, there's this transhumanism thing uh, that it gets kind of involved in that people enjoy, but the the deep lore of the Broken Gods just never really tickled my fancy. The infographic show isn't wrong. Isn't wrong? <laughs> I know we had this, uh... Um, I, saw, I think there's a, multiple memes about this in here somewhere, but yeah... The idea is that, a, oh my god, Dr. Sumerian saying, look, sometimes people aren't wrong. It's fine. Although even in that video, I kind of pointed out a couple of mistakes that they made. Uh, I think the, what was it? The the face not appearing behind people, which I actually uh, was corrected on reasonably, that it does sometimes appear behind people, but the inclination that it only does that now is not necessarily borne out in all of the media surrounding that SCP. Uh, and of course the, uh, the lizard arthropod that is shown at the beginning of it. Um, yeah, the infographic shows not wrong. And then there were some people who were like, oh man, did he make the video because he was afraid of copyright claims? I mean, no, I won that copyright claim. So yeah, why would I be afraid? Now the, uh, infographic show contacted me and were like, Hey, why don't you, uh, why don't you do a video? And I was like, Okay. I looked at it and there wasn't a lot that was wrong with it. I just I've stopped. I'm going to ever since the rubber, the very first rubber video, I'm not going to do blind reactions because I'd like to be able to articulate my points as clearly as possible. Because even when you articulate your points as clearly as possible, people are going to ignore them and focus on the stuff that they think you're arguing. So it's best if I can at least say that I've made the arguments that I need to make as clearly as possible in the video. When you do a blind reaction, sometimes it can be very difficult to come up with exactly what you're trying to say, so... Yeah, so I, I watched it first, then I rewatched it with the thing going, and... Corrected the few mistakes that they made, but... Everybody makes mistakes. It's not a huge deal to make a couple here and there. It was the first video that was chock full of them that was the problem, not... You know, it's you're never gonna get perfect. What in fiction is like that where you <laughs> take something that's a clear villain and slowly through steps as you make it more complex, you turn it into a potential hero? I guess Loki from this Marvel Cinematic Universe. The literary term, I think, is redemption arc. But uh, I guess this character from Avatar The Last Airbender somehow fits the bill for what they're trying to define here. Which I actually got Netflix specific because everyone kept recommending it to me. So I got Netflix specifically to watch Avatar The Last Airbender. I watched like the first episode and a half and I was like, okay, I've seen some YouTube videos. So I know this must get more serious later on or more adultish later on. But right now it is clearly a child's television show and it does not interest me. So I, I stopped watching it. I think I watched The Good Place instead. That's good times. What gives people feelings of power? Money, status, being able to pronounce uh, the sky above the port was the color of television tuned to a dead channel dot AIC on your first try. 
I don't understand. Why is that hard to pronounce? It's the sky above the port was the color of television tuned to a dead channel. Dot AIC. That's all in one take, too, by the way. Keep it con There's no edits between even the last meme and this meme. I don't understand what the problem is. Do you realize that killing SCPs is a crime? Clef. Uh, please show me the law. Serpent's hand. Law, Cornell, U.S. Code, text, blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading that. Ugh. Ukulele, dude. I like the, I do, I do honest to God, I like the handles here. Butterfly King, ukulele dude, and the snake's arms. mc &D making a social network powered by 2718 to farm data from people's souls. No. Mark Zuckerberg. I've done, man, I've played so many, uh, the idea of, of, of intersections of technology, of using Marshall Carter and Dark as a mechanism for the intersection of technology and magic is uh, one of my favorite things on the wiki. It's the reason why I use Marshall Carter and Dart more than I use any almost anything else. The infographic show is <laughs> again. There's this. I guess that's it, it's better than the meme about the was it the D class that people sometimes come up with. Like that I I'm somehow uh, viciously angry every time somebody brings up D class terminations. At least that meme died. But <laughs> now it's that I apparently don't think anyone else can ever be right. I mean, all right, cool. Data medication side effect. I have always found Datto to be a little bit off-putting as a uh, story conceit for this reason alone. The idea that, like, nothing Datto ever does works right. Nothing? I'm, I mean, I'm sure if I went on the wiki at this point, because there's been so many articles, of course. There's bound to be something that Datto did that worked right, right? Who knows? Oh, that was the last one. All right, fair enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're updated when I upload new videos. I was like, what the hell? Uh, and if you don't do that, I will have to come and... Uh, wait, there's nothing I can do if you don't. Do it anyway. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge like everybody here on the screen already has, including Dr. J Redacted, Vivi, who have both pledged at $100, and Morgan, who has pledged at $40. And hey, guys, it's been like over a month since anybody's bought any of the merchandise that's in the little thing underneath the videos. You want a poster? You want a t-shirt? You want a, a coffee mug, which I don't have to demonstrate, which was not really good planning on my part? Do you want, um, what else do I got? I'm thinking about doing a, a face mask, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. You're wrong about this face mask. It could be good. Anyway, get one of those. What's the problem? You don't like the merchandise anymore? Anyway, it's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you all again on Thursday.